that's okay, Lab. Man, check this out. Listen, I already know that Ronnie them. Mike, they can't look. I think they changed the difficulty level or something like that, bro, because it seems like the jump shots have changed. I understand what y'all saying. I know it. Um, I, I realized something and I can show it to y'all if y'all are interested. But if you feel like your jump shot has changed, you can probably do the same mixture and all this stuff, put another bass on and you'll be fine. Um, I had to change a couple of things in my shot. Not gonna lie to you because I needed to speed it up, but I also not only needed to speed it up, but I needed my shot to be um, just a little bit different than what it was. And the reason that it was is because uh, the Kentavious Caldwell Pope, what, what happened to mine, I'm gonna tell y'all before we before we get it. But anyway, before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know where we're trying to go. To the moon, Nobody tell y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. I love each and every last one of y'all. But anyway, I feel like they changed. Uh, what, so what was happening with Kentavious Caldwell Pope I went back, looked at footage. Every time I was playing, he would catch the ball here and then he would just go up with it. Over the weekend, and y'all let me know if y'all have felt this with the Contavious Caldwell Pope. Um, it's like now he's catching it and then he'll go, sometimes he'll catch it and go straight up and then sometimes he's catching it and then he'll go down and go up with it. So I couldn't deal with that because the differences in what he does on the jump shots, they were just too great. They, they just were. So what I did was I concocted another jump shot and I'm going to give that to you guys right here, right now. I don't care about how long the video is and none of that. I'm genuinely trying to help you guys. Make sure you like the video. Thank you, comment, thank you, Jay down below, whatever. And if your jump shot is right now broken, you can do the same thing that I'm doing. Just do the same thing that I'm doing and you should be fine. So check this out, man. Uh, jump shot, what is this? Clyde Drexler, you gotta have an 84. Penny Hardaway, you just gotta be. And I'll, I'll try to make something else uh, that anybody can use for anything. It's, it's really gonna be the base that's gonna be the deciding factor. But this is it right here. Am I am I on it? It's um, this is a jump shot. Oh, you can see it right there. It's a uh, Penny uh, Clyde Drexler, Bam out of Bio, Penny Hardaway, 66 toward Bam. And when you do this, make sure that uh, make sure that you that you do put it on this for your control controller settings. We using set point. The whole reason that I feel like we had to do this is because whatever it was, set point, well, can I hit this the first one and it not be early? Nope. It's always gonna be early the first one. Uh set point was I was I was using my jump shot and it was on set point. And um uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope was on set point. And then I was like, when I put it on jump, it started behaving somewhat properly. But the problem was, um, the problem was when I put it on jump, it's, it's, uh, it's too, I'm, I'm off on that. Uh, it's too hard to tell the tale. I'm trying to talk to y'all and look at two screens at the same time. But um, when I put it on jump, it was too hard to tell the tail because sometimes he goes all the way down and does it. And then sometimes he just goes straight up. So it was too hard to differentiate. And so I went with this base with Clyde Drexler because with Clyde, I'm able, and that's slightly late, I understand that. With this one, um, I can I can really differentiate the, uh, the, it's just when the, flat, the hand goes flat. That's what the tail is. So it's really easy. Uh, to do that and I don't have a whole lot more to say about it because uh, I what I did was look for jump shots that did not have those variations so right now you're only gonna have a couple variations in speed or whatever and um, those variations are very easy to tell what it is and it's like because I like I, my visual cues I like it to be above my head or whatever and because I like it above my head um, this is perfect for me now you can use something else uh if you want something a little faster you can go with like sadiq bay uh or uh louis hachimura something like that but this right here this combination seems to be the one that i'm the most comfortable with and like i said man for whatever reason when you walk right on the court this is what uh this is what happens you, you're just gonna miss a couple shots you're gonna miss some shots in this game let's just be honest about it you're going to miss some shots but it ain't gotta be the end of the world. And if you're having problem with your jump shot, take a look at that. But And that, that might be the reason that others around you are hitting their shot 
but you're not able to hit yours because they just have a different base. So, you know, try something that has a more consistent base because this base stability was like a, a uh, was like a, a was a B plus or something like that. And I think the other one was a B minus or it's just a, a flat out B. So these are things that I'm learning. And as I learn more about the jump shots and stuff like that, I will share, share it with you. And I'm also gonna send y'all, you know, I'm gonna do y'all a video on how to hit more shots and all of that. I'll do that tomorrow. And uh, I'll do something tomorrow on the fastest way to get your shooting badges and stuff like that. I've got a way to do it in my career. It's really easy. But like I said, with this jump shot, the one thing I wanted it to be is when it gets up to the top, you can rest a little and then you can let it go or you can let it go as soon as it gets to the crest of his, uh, you know, the, the front of his head. But to me, I like to, I like to let it get there and then, and then uh, let it go. But I do it like that because if I'm a little late on it, then it can still be green. If with the other one, if you, if the release is too fast, like the transition of the release is too fast, then it makes the green window too small. I like to be able to do it like this because when he when he flips his hand back or you know when he holds his hand back and does that it can just it can just flow off the hand and i don't have to be rushing to try to do something like that man but uh let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man i am i think that this is a really good jump shot i wish they would take some of the stuff out of the game or they would just let us know something has happened but let me show y'all this man so uh just just so we can be clear because I need y'all to understand if you have another jump shot and you were happy with it, the jump shot might be okay, but this is what you're going to have to adapt to. And now uh, we're gonna just go in here real quick and uh, we'll put on, we're gonna put on Contavious Caldwell Pope base and then, okay. So look, you see how he does that? So that's what he was doing. He was, he would catch it at his chest and then go down to his knees and shoot it. And that was something that visually I was ill-equipped to deal with. If he would do that every time, it would do it. But it was making the jump shot be like extra slow. Like sometimes he would just shoot it. And then sometimes he just wouldn't. I can probably show it to you right now. Sometimes he would shoot it and, and it would just be cool. And then sometimes, see, see, like he, he'll bring it up from his knees sometimes right there. And then sometimes he'll bring it. You see, sometimes he's bringing, it'll bring, he'll bring it from, uh, from his chest. So I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with the variances when I would catch the ball and do it. See, right there, he brought it from his, right there, he brought it, brought it from his knees. And I just don't want to do that because, and then, they, see that time he brought it from his chest. And that's all I wanted, you know, so look at your jump shots, see where they're going to start, see what the start point is, the end point, all this stuff, man. Like I said, I really need to do a jump shot tutorial on this, how to hit more shots and how to get your shot together because uh like i said the, i love that base i do i really do love that base but for me it just it, it was too inconsistent with this is what i like i like right there it's either at the right there or i like for it to be you know something like that so i could probably use cook but look at drexler drexler is even if it does go to his belt line he comes straight up with it it's no real pronounced going now you see how he just steps and goes and then let's look at Caldwell we're gonna look at Caldwell Pope one more time just just to, just to show y'all what I'm saying now look Caldwell Pope is gonna go down he's gonna go look he goes all the way down I don't and and that's just like I said that's just something I was ill-equipped to deal with I want him to just catch it tap and go but let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man um like I said I, I'm digging the jump shot it's really cool hey my boy right here what his name hey T nasty, T nasty squad digging the jump shot. So we're gonna do it like that, man. And I will holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh,